Hello, John Ludi, J-O-H-N, L-U-D-I dot com, here. And the other day, an acquaintance of mine, Ben, called me up and said, John Ludi, how would you like to make a rocket stove? And I thought, sure, I'd like to make a rocket stove. So I replied, yes, I'd like to make a rocket stove. And we did. And unfortunately, the parts of my brain that are still capable of thought uh, didn't actually think to record this until after we had put it together. But we had put it together in like about, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. It was a very simple process. And uh, there are plenty of videos online that will show you how you actually do it. But I wanted to uh, share the footage that I did record until my camera died. So <laughs> uh, so here it is, uh, the little rocket stove demo that we put together in about 10 minutes. So have at it. Some of that fuel and put it in our hopper. This is uh, Ben Hansen here, and and we're making a uh, rocket stove. And I don't have much juice in this camera, so um, I'm going to conserve it by not filming anymore for now. Nice. Hmm. Right. Well, we've got going. a lot of wind pushing it, too. Uh, so uh -huh. That That's probably true. helps quite a bit. Oh, could you get me a couple more of those little triangles? Yeah, it's escaping up through here, too. Yeah, yeah. This, this is a little on the small side. Last time I had a pipe, I could jam it down in. Uh -huh. This is a six inch. I have we have a, inch. But that's insignificant. We have a six inch pipe, but anyway. That's really that's pretty yeah, insignificant. Did we have this pretty full? Let's put some more fuel in right. so it gets going good. Fun. <laughs> Gasifier. This gas coming off of here will actually be volatile enough to light. And when it lights and I shut it down, then it'll go up through there and it will light in there. Hmm. I hope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I see it. Oh, too cool. Oh, it totally disappeared. Yeah. Yep. When it does that, then it is actually a, a volatile motor. It's, a, it's to a low level motor fuel. Yeah. So now you can see it's maintaining. It. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That is so cool. Directly on the these wood. coals, okay. and then a mixing chamber underneath. Yeah. And we've got sort of a variable mm -hmm. gate here. We can gotcha, vary yep. each yeah. side a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're starting. starting to have yeah, we're coming out of here. Coming over. Should really be coming out. Oh, and yeah. I wish we had a better seal here. We don't. Yeah. Whatever. Don't breathe this stuff, it's pretty toxic. <laughs> so now we can heat the bottom, we can actually heat our pipe up a little bit, make it draft. So we had ventilation issues, and Ben is now uh, solving these ventilation issues with the uh, the uh, chimney pipe uh, with uh, burdock leaves and uh, dirt. <laughs> okay. All right. Pure. <laughs> that's beautiful, man. Check it out. Oh, that's working. <laughs> Still trying to sneak through, but yeah. Uh, it's good. All right. 
Yeah, yeah for a demo. Yeah, yeah much better. <laughs> trick is to have a balance where we've got enough volume coming through here yeah. to balance the whole system. So you've got a mm -hmm. drive pipe that's actually flaming and, yeah. and you've got a stoichiometric mix burning in there. And since this took a whole, you know, like no time. To <laughs> yeah, it was like <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> well, the design and build were all in what do we got laying around. Yeah. Um, that's brilliant though. That's great. So up here would be whatever appliance you've got, if it's a barrel mm -hmm. for a direct yeah. heat exchange, yeah. or if it gets pumped into the plenum of a heat exchanger on a on a gas gas style burner. Oh, you see if that's yeah, that's not really thick enough to burn. Mm. Yeah. Um, we might need either more. Yeah. And it depends on how our fuel is progressing here too. How's it doing? It's not really a lot burning yet. We could actually probably just let it burn a little bit. And since we really don't have a very uh, balanced system here yet, that should be a lot smaller. This should be a lot tighter. We'll let some some mass start volatizing here, devolatizing. Do you think that should be smaller in diameter or, or This in should be bigger and that should be smaller. In diameter or right. height? Right, these are, that's about right, that's about right. This could be whatever tight, height you've oh, got. Oh really? I thought it had but to be proportional. But this should be that and that should be this. This should be an 8 inch, that should be a 6 inch hmm. instead of the other way around. Okay. Now you can hear it yeah. burning through there. You can. And you can see how the smoke stopped being smoke and just yeah, turned into thing. a fire. Heat. Right. Yeah, I see that. Want. Okay. And that's the essence of how to, you know, how these things work. Cool. Okay. And that should be about how easy they are to build. Or should be how easy. And, and then you just play around with the air in here. Air, yeah. And then down here below, you could have on behind, you know, where the ashes go forward, you could have an ash drop yeah. below it. Mm -hmm. If this was up on a stand, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you could just open it up and yeah. shovel it out every once in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, this is actually, you know, it's a burning you tube see now. It now. Yeah, if you yeah you can see it. Over here, you'd actually see the flames <laughs> without melting the. Camera. No, you won't melt it. <laughs> oh, look at that! Yeah, you can. And that's how it should. That's about how it should look. Here we are. Got one minute. Well, far be it for me to actually be able to say what I think Ben would have said had my camera not died, but I think it might have had something to do with carbon monoxide, which in straightforward medical terminology is bad for you. Uh, and when you work with rocket stoves, uh, because of the wood gasification that is actually going on, it produces carbon monoxide. So be very careful when you are working with these uh, experimentally or otherwise. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye now.